Oh boy, I need a... Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eric Brown and welcome to the fourth episode... The fifth episode of Cold Kombucha. Now this episode is just called Cold, not just Cold Kombucha. So what I have here are four different types of kombucha. So I went to Whole Foods and something you should know, I don't just love kombucha, I love eggnog. I also used to love soda. I still love LaCroix, but I love kombucha more than LaCroix because kombucha has probiotics and it's really good for you. But today, this episode is about eggnog. Um, let me give you a little bit of backstory about me and eggnog. I started drinking eggnog when I was about nine years old. I didn't quite know what it was, but there's this um, grocery store in Palm Desert. It's called Bristol Farms and they had this special eggnog. It's called Brogier's, Brogier's eggnog, and it's this dairy farm out in LA, and they make this special kind of eggnog that you can only buy in the Pacific Southwest, and it's the best thing ever. It's like you're drinking cinnamon bubble, I don't know how to explain it anymore. I don't know how to explain eggnog. It's like melted ice cream. It can kind of taste like bubble gum. Maybe my taste buds are just weird. Um, it tastes like heaven, pretty much. So we have the Organic Valley eggnog right here. Uh, we have some premium organic eggnog. I'm putting, I'm have, I have high expectations for this one. And then we have some 365 Whole Foods regular brand grade A eggnog. I've tried this one. This is actually really good. This is gonna be our control. And then we have some almond nog. I have never tried almond nog, but we're gonna try these today. So, first things first, we're gonna try, we're gonna try the Organic Valley Eggnog. Now, um, this is something I would most definitely shake, much like a uh, upside down, you know, shake it real good. This is much of a orange juice, like with pulp. You wanna shake it, you wanna get make sure all those flavors mix together. All right, let's open it, and then we need to pull the tab. And the thing is, you know what I usually do is I, and I throw it away. We can't have any cheat, we can't cheat this. So we're just gonna give it a nice pour. Something whenever I'm looking at an eggnog is, the th is like the thickness. This has got like a very milky thickness or what, viscosity, I think that's the right word. Viscosity, color. So we're looking at color, smell, taste, viscosity. That's the fourth one right here. Like a milk, like a whole milk. So color, you know, very white, like a, like a chalk. Smell. You can definitely smell the vanilla. Vanilla and a little bit of cinnamon in here. Let's give it a whirl. It's got the viscosity, almost like a melted ice cream. Not that great of an eggnog, you know? I mean, it's fine. If I was at the store and I had the option, I would buy this one right now. The Whole Foods 365 Reigns King. Um, flavor, it's mostly like vanilla milk. It's like vanilla milk really is what it is. Not very eggy, you know, I do like a bit of an eggy. That's where that, that's where that thickness probably comes in. I'm not gonna claim to be an eggnog expert. I've just drink, drank a lot of eggnog and I've actually made the eggnog before, but. Ah, out of five stars, it was okay. It wasn't bad, it wasn't good, it was just okay. I give this a proper three out of five stars. Now we're gonna cleanse our palate with some water. 
Okay, so we have the Clover Sonoma Premium Organic Eggnog. I have high expectations for this one because it says premium organic. You know, I wonder, I don't know how much they charged me on this. I didn't really look. I just threw all my stuff in my cart at Whole Foods and I was like, let's just go. But uh, I like how you have to open it like a school milk carton style. Did I cheat? Okay, I didn't. Let's just give it a nice pour. Oh, there we, that's a thick boy right there. There we go, yes. Thicky is good. Oh yeah, this, this is a little thicker. It's a little thicker than the other one. Color, obviously, let's look, let's pour this one. Definitely more eggy, you can tell. It's a little more yellow than the other one. Let's pour a little bit of this. As you see, this one's very white, like a milk. Not what you want to look for in an eggnog. That means it's just not gonna have that thickness in there. So there's, there's that. Let's put this right here so we have a little control. This one right here, it's very yellowy because of the eggs. Yeah, we need to pour a little more. Now, you see, it just looks thick as well. All right, let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can zoom in here. You see that? It's a little thicker. Okay, let's give it another smell. Um, I'm not really smelling anything. I'm gonna be real with you. All right, let's just give it a taste. Thickness is there. I'm tasting almost like a bit of a coffee. The thickness is there because it's still on, like I'm doing that thing with my tongue. It's like when you take, it's like when you, when you have um, like like condensed milk and there's like a little bit still back here it's like that hmm I taste a little bit of spice maybe nutmeg is what I'm tasting rich creamy and subtly sweet that's right it is Pretty creamy. Is it rich? No, if, if they should put more cream and egg in there if, it, if they wanted to make it richer. Subtly sweet, that is true. It's actually, I should have read the back for the Organic Valley because the sweetness isn't very there. It's very subtle. Um, I give this one a proper 3.7 out of 5. I was going to say 4 out of 5. I was going to say 3.5 out of 5. Um, is it good? It's better than the Organic Valley, that's for sure. Um, but is it okay? No, it's a little better than okay, but I'm also disappointed the fact that they decide to have the audacity to put the word premium on their eggnog and it's not premium. But then again, I have hard, hard um, expectations for my beverages. Oh, so here's actually something, here's a little side note I want to say. I was on the hunt for the best biscuits and gravy in the Southern Pacific Southwest. Um, me and my dad ended up deciding that Carl's Jr., their biscuits and gravy with their tater tots is actually the, the best place to get bits, biscuits and gravy because of its convenience. Now there is this one restaurant, I forgot what it was called, but it was actually the one place that was so much better than everyone else that wiped out the competition, but I forgot what the name of the place was. It was some weird local restaurant, but it was super good. And you know, that's the only restaurant. So me and my dad ended up deciding that the best place to get biscuits and gravy is actually through um, Carl's Jr. Hardee's. 3.7 out of 5. 
This is the grade A eggnog. I have high expectations for this one. Have a nice shake. These eggnog is also very filling, so um, I'm not very hungry. I'm probably not gonna end up eating dinner either, which is great because I'll just spend the rest of my time um, editing the documentary that I'm working on. All right, glass right here, let's give it a whirl. Thick, oh, this is much thicker. About almost the same, if not a little more thicker than the quote premium eggnog. So color, it, it's not as yellow as this one. It's a little more yellower than this one. It's like an off-white color. Uh, you can see little chunks in there from the uh, spices. Let's give it a smell. I think why I like this one so much is because of the smell. You can definitely smell the cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg in there as well, which is what really brought out the flavor probably. Okay. I think I know why I like this one so much. Literally it tastes like melted ice cream with cinnamon. It's got the nice thickness. The Brugier's eggnog, very thick. Very thick in terms of eggnog. This one, it's, it's the thickest of them all. Two C's, that thick. And taste just spot on. Taste is right there. So right now, if you're to get any eggnog from the store, go to a Whole Foods and get the 365 Grade A eggnog. In my opinion, this is the best eggnog um, that you can find everywhere. Like I was saying with the Carl's Jr. Um, biscuits and gravy stories because you know you're not gonna necessarily be in the Pacific Southwest to get yourself some Brugier's eggnog, so you may as well get what's the best everywhere, um, which is that Whole Foods eggnog. And then if you just so happen to be in the Pacific Southwest, get yourself the best. Like I was saying, you know, Carl's Jr. And then there was that, I forgot what it was called. I'm gonna have to call my dad and ask. Let's cleanse our palate. We have the 365 Almond Nog. Now what I'm going to guess here is that this eggnog is going to be non-dairy and I don't think there's gonna be any egg in here. So there's no milk and no egg, no cream. So I'm very interested to see what this tastes like. By the way, I'm full. Like my stomach is like, you know how you have like a nice full meal after having those two kombuchas and having all this eggnog, I'm like, I've had a whole meal, it feels like. There we go. Let's give it a pour. Yeah, it's very light on the thickness. Color, it's yellow. Which makes me think, if there's no egg in here, what's giving it that yellow? Sunflower, is it? Fruit juice, color. I'm very interested to see, I might, I'm a little biased right now because what I'm already thinking in my head is like I might have to throw this down the drain. Color, I mean, um, I would say it's in between this is the most yellow and this is slightly less yellow, but this is more yellow than this, if that makes any sense. So yellow factor, um, yeah, color. It's like a yellowish color, you know. Yeah. Smell. Spices are definitely out there. Maybe I'm smelling something nutty, which is probably that almond. Let's give it a whirl. No. Oh my gosh, no. Okay, I'm... 
No. No, don't buy it. If you're vegan, don't be vegan. Buy this. Okay, that probably got me into a lot of trouble and people were probably upset. If you're vegan, I completely get it and I understand it. I would be vegan, but I like my egg and egg too much and I hope you understand. Um, I just don't like it. I just, I, I just don't like it. I'm gonna be real with you. Taste just, it's very watery. I would say that it's very watery compared to these. Um, very watery, yeah. Thickness, not at all. Not at all. Flavor, not there either. So maybe my prejudice, my bias of I'm gonna have to throw this down the drain, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna see if my roommate wants it. I might bring it to work tomorrow and see if anyone else wants it. But we have a consensus. The best eggnog is the 365 Whole Foods Market Grade A eggnog. This is the best eggnog you can buy, certified by me, Eric Brown, 2020. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching episode five of Cold. Now, for episode six, I have not gotten there quite yet. You know, I'm filming my documentary. I have a lot of photos and ed uh, photos and videos to edit. Um, working on college courses. I'm about to go on three weeks of leave, so I'm gonna go enjoy that. And then um, I also have five other episodes of Cold Kombucha, Cold to edit, so I'll be pretty busy. Um, sixth episode might not be till next year, we'll see. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.